Hi ho, this is Dark Fox 8 here and uh, I'm gonna do another trailer analysis for Metagear. This time it's a story trailer. Last time I just did like a Metagear Online uh, debut trailer analysis and this time I'm actually gonna... This might actually be a, quite a bit more complicated because uh, the, the story trailers have a lot to it. Um, let's press play here. I'll start for the quote like the last trailer with the nuclear song. Um, I'm not really going to comment much on the quote or anything like that because I really have no idea what to say about the the themes or the philosophy at play. I'm not that smart and I'm really not that interested in theorizing that stuff. I, I'm just uh, I'm just along for the ride as far as that stuff is concerned. I theorize a lot more about the nitty gritty stuff. This is clearly um, I was still a child. Skullface from Ground Zero is talking. For it. So this is obviously a Diamond Dog installation, probably your like likely your mother base. The fact that you know I'm I'm almost positive it's your mother base, and it's all fucked up. Torn from my elders, I was made and you see a uh, big boss walking through it. I didn't realize this the first uh, like two or three times I saw the trailer, but right there you see him wearing kind of like the olive drab garb, which is kind of like what you see him wearing the gameplay demo for Afghanistan and stuff. But now when it does this frontal shot, he's wearing his Ground Zeroes costume, which is like the sneaking suit from Police Walker. And then as the the lights dim and come back up, he kind of transforms chronologically. I guess it, this is supposed to be his journey from Ground Zeroes being kind of the big boss we've known for a while. And then the start of Peace, or excuse me, the start of um, the Phantom Pain, which we're going to see right here. With each change. See that that's kind of how he is. Well, I assume at the beginning of the Phantom Pain, with the shrapnel in his skull, and he has like the olive drab. And then towards the end of the Phantom Pain, he's likely gonna become more unhinged by all the fucked up shit that he's doing, that he's he's feeling he's forced to do to fight against, you know, to to get his white whale or whatever. I and when it dims and comes back up, this third time, or second time, I should say. Now he's like more bloody and his horn or the shrapnel in his skull is bigger. I think people, I think I read theories that like it starts to become dislodged slowly by itself. Too dangerous to take it out. I think people have confirmed because it's, it could cause like too much brain damage. You know, obviously symbolically it's like a devil's horn or something. Or an, an ogre's horn, kind of heavy-handed, a little bit. Time. This person talking right here, I think it's Ocelot. It's not Kaz. It's not. Because uh, I, I honestly don't recognize Troy Baker's voice that well, and I know I'm the only person who plays video games who doesn't recognize his voice that well. I'm for some reason Troy Baker hasn't left his mark on me like everybody else. But I'm pretty sure it's Ocelot because it's not Kaz and it's not um. Skullface. And this, again, I'm pretty sure this is a mother base. This is just, I guess, a bathroom that they're using as a storeroom. Again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language. For the man who sold the world, or from the man. I don't know what that could mean. That, that's, that's probably, uh... That's, that's probably Major Zero. Um, look at the <laughs> look at the shelf, by the way. Like it looks really cool. Like th this fox engine stuff does really good landscapes, but like the small details always look really good. The bedrock for any developing child. His country, his family, his face, his identity, everything was stolen from. Him. Most of this is footage we've seen before. That's a little bit new footage. Um, 
I guess this is uh, Kyle's lamenting his his, uh, his right arm missing. This might be where he, he does his monologue about revenge and like about his phantom limb syndrome. I don't know who's talking here, but let's go back a little bit. Since ancient times, every civilization um, this is obviously Co Talker, and maybe this is Co Talker talking. And looks like Big Boss is sharing a peace pipe with him or something. I don't really know what's up with this. So this is one of my big really weird theories about uh, this game and I think this sounds really stupid and kind of hokey honestly but it makes a lot of sense to me just because of the images that I've been seeing in these last few trailers. Um, right here he has his eyes all glazed over and he's never had these eyes and I don't think he became blind while he was captive in uh, Afghanistan. Um, this seems to be like this is my theory that this is some sort of weird mind control that Big Boss starts to exert over his troops um, with the help of Skullface. It's a really kind of weird thing, and I, I kind of don't, I kind of want to be wrong about this because it's kind of, it's kind of stupid, honestly. Um, and it kind of goes along with what the monologue was talking about, how exerting control over people using language and stuff. I mean, that's honestly kind of what um, what Gene did in a. Uh, that PSP game, Portable Ops, he, he had like God's voice or whatever, he could, he could command people to do things by telling them things. This world will become one. I have found the way. Race, and this person talking right here sounds like uh, it's the new voice actor for Major Zero. The last voice actor from Major Zero um, confirmed on tour that he's not going to be Major Zero in this game and he said something along the lines of like he wouldn't do it for the measly pay Konami was offering him. So he pretty much confirmed that Major Zero is going to be in the game and Konami approached him to voice him. But he did not want to accept the, the, the measly pay or, or the, the, the amount of money that they were paying him. So this is a new British person talking. He's, he sounds like he might be Major Zero. The things he's saying make him seem like he's Major Zero, so I'm pretty certain this is Major Zero's new voice actor. I have no idea who he is. Nations, national borders, even our faces will be irrelevant. The world that the boss envisioned will finally become a reality, and it will make mankind whole again. And this is a kind of big thing, the mammal pod from Peace Walker. Um, I assume this is the, the, the pod that was actually on the Peace Walker mech, not one of the ones that was on like a coon or or a poopa or whatever um this was supposedly like crushed underneath like the the water pressure but maybe it wasn't that much crushed and it was just like the other stuff that was crushed i don't know it's kind of weird to see this again i don't know if this is going to play a big role in anything at all but i was like i was like really kind of hyped when i saw it i was like oh shit oh man it's, it's kind of cool to just see Peace Walker's call back. Now this is the big thing. I mean, we recognize that V-shaped scar from Ka not causes um pauses um bomb s scar. Was to put the bomb in her belly. They also put one in her vagina. Spoiler alert for Ground Zeroes. Um, and I'm sure enough. It cuts to pause. I mean, that has to be pause. It looks like pause. Like, I don't know how pause survived the bomb exploding out of her vagina. It, like, pause has survived a lot of stuff, so it's it's honestly not that shocking because Metal Gear has always been pretty hokey and unrealistic with that type of stuff. But last time pause died, she fell into the ocean, and that's like very easy to like right away, right? 
very easy to like wreck on that because Belizean fishermen are all over the place finding bodies falling into the ocean. It's no big deal, but when your vagina explodes from the inside out, it's it, it's really silly and like she doesn't seem all there. Right here, she's not really responding to the stimuli of like Big Boss waving his hand in front of her. She does look up right here. I can't tell if that's because um Big Boss or not. So it seems like Paz is alive or this may be a clone or something, but like Metagear never has like clones like in, in a, you know, classic science fiction where like somebody zapped at them. The exact replica exists because if it was a, a clone as they, as they exist in Metagear and like, you know, most science fiction, she wouldn't have the same scar. That, that doesn't make any sense. I guess it just could be a big boss hallucination. It's entirely possible because there's plenty of that going on. And now here's a guy with um well you can see he has like a slit in his throat and an earphone in the throat. And and he also has the glassy eyes, the same glassy eyes that um that Kaz has has in, in that scene I showed earlier, playing out earlier. He has this weird growth on his chest. I really like like a lot of this stuff is coming out of left left field. I didn't really know what any of this stuff was. But then it shows these gals and these gals clearly have like the the quiet trans or teleportation invisibility like effect. Looks like embers, you know, forming, disintegrating. And this shot's very gratuitous, by the way, the way, like, it just shows up on their boobs. There might be a reason for that, because these might not be boobs, and they might be cancerous growths, like we just saw on that guy, but that'd be really weird and, and gross in his own way. And then when it focuses on her face, he has the glassy eyes as well. So, like, these glassy eyes are, like, I don't know what we're calling glassy or, like, gray eyes or silver eyes, but, like, it, they, they're repeating motif. I don't think they're a coincidence. I think there's, they're a call of something, some sort of experimentation of some sort of mind control going on in this game. And it looks like it can be infectious because right here, like these soldiers, like the guy on the right and the guy on the left seem like they have no relationship to each other. The guy on the left looks like he's has some sort of sneaky so the guy on the right just looks like he's regular soldier on an outpost or something some sort of officer and they're both affected by this um ember magic stuff I don't know this may just be psychomantis stuff it may just be how psychomantis manifests his powers in this game but they seem to be surrounding um big boss and quiet now this is one of the weirdest things in the, in the trailer I can't really Hell, what's going on here but it looks like a giant mech arm or arm made of stone is picking up big boss and it has them upside down let me uh take my mouse out i'm pretty sure you can see my mouse on this if not then bear with me but right here this is his head basically the the thing in the bottom and this looks like he has a recorded what rifle on his back and this looks like his walkman the walkman you have in in, in gameplay and this it's a very weird thing. I don't know if, what exactly this could be. I, I guess this could be a... It doesn't look like it's part of a mech because this is, looks like it's floating in midair. So I guess this could be like Psycho Mantis uses telekinesis to like... Fuck with people. Yeah, as, as you see it rotating, you could kind of... You saw the perspective shift from the side perspective to the back of his head. So you could kind of tell there is somebody in that fist. Let me go back a little. Um, these acids on the floor, like these rocks and these grass bushes, this stuff that like you recognize from Ground Zero. So I know the the scale of this environment, and it's kind of to scale to this like human figure in this fist. So I'm I'm convinced that is the case. It's just a very weird thing. 
Watch again as he rotates. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know what's going on here. Here shows more of these like uh, skull soldiers kind of uh, rambling about. At first, I didn't know why the guy on the left's um, eyes didn't light up. But that's because he's turned around. I didn't realize until I rewatched it that he's turned around. That's why we don't see his eyes flash up. And now he got this really cool, crazy kind of a uh, ground spikes thing. This is one of the most extravagant powers we've seen in Metal Gear Solid 5. Seems like definitely going to be a boss battle or, or something. Seems like a, a missed opportunity if it's not a boss battle. And this I believe is from the hospital scene in the beginning of the Phantom Pain and from the first trade that we saw. Um, these soldiers look like the same soldiers, XO, XOF soldiers that are like rushing the place trying to kill a big boss or whoever, trying to kill everybody seemingly. And this helicopter fucking them up, I don't know what to say about it besides it just looks really weird. Pretty violent, but at the same time, when you watch it frame by frame, this, this scene clearly wasn't made to be watched frame by frame because these, uh, these bodies are moving around really strangely. Yeah, I think the helicopter again is being manipulated by like a psychomantis or something like that because it's just moving around really weird. It doesn't look like how a helicopter would really crash into a building. Just it, it takes so long to move around. This I think is back in the beginning scene of the trailer where it shows a uh, mother base all fucked up. Um, I think all these scenes are from the end of the game or very very near at the end of the game. I think the the events that transpire in this game is Big Boss uh, starts to do a lot of things that he maybe didn't want to do and he you know starts to like become a demon whatever whatever he's already a demon and basically at the end he has to like admit defeat and surrender to Major Zero which will lead to the events of like a uh, Metagear 1 because in Metagear 1 he is with theoretically with Major Zero part of Foxhound, you know, leader of Foxhound, and secretly he sets up the Outer Heaven Rebellion and he sends Solid Snake in to like be, be the, 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 the puppet to like not succeed, but he ends up succeeding anyways. So I think this is right at the very end of his rope where everything's failing and he has no choice but to like admit defeat and like join up with Major Zero with his con contingency plan that he's gonna play the long con and pretend he's with Major Zero but instigate the uh, Outer Heaven Rebellion somewhere down the line. Because everything's fucked up here and there's other things that make me believe this as well. This is a strange uh, shot. I could never tell what's going on here uh, when I was watching the trailer at, at like real, real time speed. But like there's a well, it looks like a boss character outside. This may be the same guy who makes the ground spikes, or maybe another boss character. I assume all the boss characters are like these skull soldiers. I'm gonna assume that now. I don't know for sure, but nothing really has led me to believe that except for just this trailer. But this guy is outside this helicopter. I don't know if he's flying, if the helicopter's skidding a little across the ground, but then he falls back. <laughs> he leans back too far. This looks like gameplay. Of of like that's not that, that's not anim that's not a scene that's uh, real time. So the major sought a system that used information, words to control. This guy has already kind of been confirmed to be Vulcan. They, they haven't even called him Vulcan, but he's very clearly Vulcan because of the the toys you see. The sub and now, like even here, he's he's look he's a lot more clear. He's a lot more. Uh, like detailed before he was shrouded in so much like light bloom and shadow and stuff you couldn't really tell any detail on his costume besides his very small details but now you can see for sure in his eyes the greatest symbiotic parasite the world's ever known is in my crew so i didn't realize this i saw somebody point this out on twitter um which is a good get a good find but this is the pretty much exact shot we saw in the last trailer for my 5 campaign 
which is the the nuclear song i'm nuclear whatever um and um huey wasn't in the background of that one people are you know a lot of Metal traders are uh, remix like the environments and the time of day during the traders and what they actually end up in the end of the game for various reasons sometimes it's direct um misdirect misdirection sometimes it's like just um you know just technology changing and like the development changing or whatever right but people have theorized that this may be a choice you have in the game because they've talked a lot about choice and the way you do missions and the way you choose missions what missions you choose change the outcome of certain things and it's possible that maybe you could bring Huey back into the fold you can forgive him or something like that instead of just um torturing him and then tossing him out to eventually get married and then have his son and kill himself it's linguistic words are what keep civilization our world alive again i'm not commenting too much on what people are saying because they're talking a lot of like philosophical gobbledygook and stuff that like i i honestly don't have like much opinion about um like i said i'm kind of along for the ride as far as that stuff is concerned um but i will comment on last thing he was saying how it kind of sounds like this is the ground bed for the JW system and Major Zero's ultimate answer to like world uh, domination is like the, the AIs and like the stuff in America Star 2 with like the memes, the way you're talking about how like words control people and how words spread. It, it sounds reminiscent to me to like the whole thing about memes and spreading context and, and deleting memes and stuff that aren't useful for like the human progression which was like the whole objective of Mega Solid 2 With this, I'll rid the world of infestation Sans Lingua Franca I don't know what Sans Lingua Franca means The world will be torn asunder and then it shall be free I just realized my, my trailer became um, desynchronized, so I'm gonna go back here. With this, I'll rid the world of infestation. Sans lingua franca. Sans lingua is like without language. Franca, I'm not sure. And then it shall be free. Here he is again in the bloody mother base. And this shot is another shot that like just makes me think um mind control or something weird like that. Just because uh, I just find it eerie and strange how people are staring up to what looks like um Metal Gear. But like Metal Gear isn't a big deal. I mean like we had a Metal Gear back in or mother base and people weren't so reverent about it there and of course Skullface and Big Boss were the only ones that seem to not be transfixed even Ocelot seemed transfixed on it you hear like a battle going on in the outside here so like this is one of the reasons why like I, f I feel like this is at the end of the rope um, this mother base is getting overrun in the same way the old mother base got overrun and Snake has to make the decision. And then he punches the mirror all like... All Breaking Bad like, which is kind of silly. The chain of retaliation is what will truly bind this world together as one. This is one of the big things in the trailer where it, it seemingly shows um, David. Or solid snake. There's been some speculation as to why he has like blonde hair and stuff, but like that's like minor details. This is in all likelihood probably solid snake as a kid. Probably get separated from um liquid snake. This was entirely possible that he's not solid snake and this is something else completely different because this trailer has just so much misdirection and so much weird things in it. 
which I really appreciated. I didn't want to watch this trailer originally because um, I thought it was just going to have a lot of spoilers. I thought it was just going to have a lot of answers to questions I already knew. Because this trailer just brought up a lot more questions than, than, I, than I had. So it was actually a, lot, a very fun trailer to just watch. It's, it's very, very obtuse. It's a great trailer to have like Kojima's last trailer. Yeah, so another reason why I think this is some sort of weird mind control stuff going on. Let me see if this works right here. Okay, this is working. So this is the very end of last year's trailer, the nuclear trailer. I'm nuclear, I'm whatever. Um, and there's a strange scene at the end of the trailer where Big Boss seems to be like getting huddled or stopped by like three um diamond dog soldiers his own soldiers and then he shoots them on the gut and then there's another guy walking past him he's all he's seemingly like all um sleepwalking he, he's not all there he's strange and big boss just pops him in the head very mercilessly and he just goes away so i, I really don't know like back when i saw this i was very confused by it and now looking back on it i kind of feel like it goes into the mind control theory i had Watching this new trailer, it, watching this old scene, it kind of seems like these soldiers are being mind controlled and Big Boss is almost just like getting rid of his dolls or something because he's already decided to give in to Zero and play the long con. Plan B, do the Outer Heaven Rebellion underneath Zero's wing. Let me just play it. Here it is. That guy did not give a fuck that these three guys got shot in the gut. He was just going around his merry business. The snake pops him. And there's a f there's another guy dead there. But it's a very confusing scene like like the scene gives very little information, it doesn't make sense. Um, but if these, all, all these guys were mind controlled and basically like uh, kind of zombies, then it, it makes sense, which again, I, f I feel like it's a really weird and hokey plot device, but whatever, Metagear had had a lot of those. So I'm going to play this trailer again, um, and I just want to talk about a few things that we know from Ground Zeroes, and I'm going to wrap this up. So we've seen Big Boss with Skullface before, and it's a little weird because um, Skullface's whole plan is to kill Big Boss and Major Zero. He sees these two guys as like a very big evil that he needs to eliminate. So. And all of Ground Zeroes was setting up Big Boss to have a grudge match against Major Zero. That was kind of his objective in Ground Zeroes. He was playing both sides to, before, they could, before they could kill each other. But now you see him like hanging out with Snake, so maybe that's, this is just part of his long con. Part of Skullface's con where like he's coming to Snake and telling him that I could help you fight... Uh, I could help you fight Zero and stuff like that when really it's Skullface he should have been weary about. And maybe Skullface gives him the uh, mind control technology stuff or whatever the fuck it is. And at the end he flips the switch and turns it against Snake which is why he's killing his own like uh, soldiers and shit. I get, again I'm saying this shit and it just sounds stupid to me like about this mind control stuff it sounds like hokey and and dumb.
But one reason why I like this trailer is because like I have resorted to coming up with this weird theory to explain what's going on in, in this trailer because it's it was so weird and obtuse to me when I first saw it. I'm, I'm glad they made a trailer like this. Alright, let's listen to the new uh, Major Zero voice actor and hear his like part of the monologue and I, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. This world will become one. I have found the way. Race, tribal affiliations, national borders, even our faces will be irrelevant. The world that the boss envisioned will finally become a reality and it will make mankind whole again. Alright, well that's it. Um, that's my weird theory. If, um, if you think my theory is really stupid, I might agree, um, but feel free to comment on it. Feel free to point me towards other uh, theories that make more sense or stuff like that. Um, when I theorize about these Metal Gear games, I, I'm not trying to write the definitive bible and I'm not trying to burn anybody out of stake that disagrees with me. There's some weird, uh, there's a lot of weird beef that goes around these uh, Meta Gear videos that People are claiming that they know the absolute answer and stuff like that. Uh, I'm I'm not really like that. Uh, I, I have fun <laughs> with the theorizing and uh, somebody ha sees something that very much contradicts what I've seen that I have missed for whatever reason or I'm just absent-minded about. Then actually I want to hear about it and, and I, I think it's kind of fun to double back on theories and see things in a new light. Um, and, and that's it. Like I said. Drop me some comments. <laughs> let, let, let me know if there's somebody who's a lot more concise about this shit. And uh, thanks for watching.